Hey, what's up, Facebook and Insta? So that camera's good. This camera's not so good. Plus, I'm at work. I'm kidding. Insta apron. All right. So I want to jump on here, and I want to talk a minute about Junkie Gypsy Sister Sesh with you guys. Um, what that means is that this is going to be my first ever six week boot camp. No, I take that back. It's not a boot camp. This is a training program. And this is about you owning your power, um, living your authentic truth of who you really are. And maybe you're a person who's like, I'm already doing that. I'm already myself day in and day out. Why would I need to do this program? So I'm talking to the people who haven't found their voice, who haven't found their inner person yet, um, who maybe are still in shell shock and haven't ventured out of their comfort zone to enable themselves to grow and mature to a certain level. I'm also talking about taking ownership of your boss babe powers like each one of us has, we have power in us that needs to, to be voiced, to be heard, to be loud. We should be living our lives loudly every single day. And that's what I am going to do with you. For six weeks, we're going to explore what fears you have, how you might be feeling intimidated in certain areas of your life, um, whether it is relationships, whether it is uh, fear and intimidation over a job or a goal, whether you're a person who's trying to lose weight um, in this new year. Maybe you've always struggled with some form of addiction, which we all have addictions, um, whether it be coffee, gossip, jealousy, frustration, uh, or cigarettes, um, all of these things. But whatever you are struggling with in that area, we're going to address, correct, and redirect. That is why I am doing this six-week training camp. Because I've been through it. I have walked through fear in just about every possible circumstance. Now, I can't speak to certain ones, such as, um, I'm trying to think. No, I've actually done that. Pretty much every, every area of your life, whether it is maybe fear because you've dealt with hurt and pain from a loss of a relationship or the death of someone you love, or financial scarcity and the pain that revolves like as women for us when we feel sad we want to go spend money we want to treat ourselves we want to feel good we want to have an excuse to do those things um, also I've walked through that I've walked through homelessness I know not everybody deals with that, but I have done that. Um, I have been so paralyzed by fear in my life that the indecisiveness within me, it literally caused me such huge anxiety in my head, like such pain, and you, I couldn't get out of it. I didn't know how to get out of it. And it, it was something that I actually had to work through all by myself. No one helped me. Um, but God and the spirit of God and leading me to actually have a coach and do a boot camp and to certain people and places and books and things that help me to crawl out of each and every situation that I've been in. Um, I am a mom. I've raised four children. They are adults now. 
except for my youngest, she's almost there. But as a mom, you carry a lot of guilt. And that's one thing I want to address in the six weeks is guilt and shame. Because as women, we do the bulk carrying of the guilt in the family environment. Um, it's not the man, it's the woman. We feel guilty for numerous things, for the house not being clean, for taking a break, for, I mean, the silliest things, for picking up our kids five minutes late. You know, we have all of these issues. So owning our power means that we're going to step up and start living not in reactive mode, not in reaction, but we're going to be intentional and we're going to live and come from a place of love and of peace. And you're not always going to feel that way, but I go into details about real life and bringing real life and supernatural life together and unify them as one where we can effectively wake up every day excited that we are alive, that we are blessed, that whatever roof is over our head is over our head, whatever food we're eating, we're eating. I'm, this is not a condemnation. This is not, oops, sorry. This is not to say, um, we're gonna do a faster detox and we're gonna work out every single day for blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm going to do. What I want to do and my goal and kind of what I, I wish someone had done with me, I wish that somebody would have stood in front of me and been like a straight up bitch. I wish somebody would have looked at me and said, Amy, get your shit together, pick it up because you're worthy and you can do this. And there are miracles and magic on the other side of this fire, this trial that you're walking through, but you gotta be a bitch. You gotta be determined that you are number one. You gotta be determined that if your cup is empty, you can't be a blessing to anyone else. You can't help anyone else. That's what I wish someone would have done with me. So I'm gonna be your bitch for six weeks. And we're gonna hash every single issue possible that women have food health family pain suffering anger frustration jealousy all of these evil little seeds that were brought into our being into our spiritual beings by eve <laughs> um we're going to take ownership of that. We're going to address it. We're going to take ownership of it. We're going to solve the problems. And then you're going to get a formula where when these problems occur later, you're going to be able to take that formula and apply it to each area to solve that problem. Because each one of you deserves to live your best life. You only have it once. I mean, you don't have time to mess around. You can't just like, oh, I'm just not going to deal with that today. Because I did that. 20 years I did that. I'm not even joking. 20 years in poverty, 20 years in guilt, 20 years in depression, 20 years in anxiety, 20 years in fear. And I'm not going to live my life like that any longer. And I am here on a mission to help you to not spend another minute living like that. It's time for you to step up to the plate, own who you are, do what you're here to do, and get your message out to the world because we do not have time to waste. Don't you want to create a legacy? Don't you want to leave a legacy where people go, oh my goodness, that was her. She did that, that's right. She stepped up, she did that. She did not allow anything to defeat her. She's powerful, she's a superhero. So that's where I'm gonna take you. For six weeks, we're gonna get into the dirty, we're gonna pull the nitty gritty out from under your fingernails. We're gonna get you clean and worthy and beautiful and, and just 
you're going to be brand new at the end, I promise you. But I'm going to have to tell you one thing. If you are not ready in here, if you're not ready to take your game in life higher, then don't bother. Don't, don't even think that you can. Because if you're not ready in here and you're not ready up here, you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna take it seriously. You're not gonna change. You're not gonna believe that miracles are possible in your life. You're not gonna believe that you can change your life. You're just gonna come on a joy ride and at the end of that bitch a whole lot. And that's not cool. So, like I said, I'm gonna be a bitch and make you do some hard homework, answer some tough questions, dig deep and find out why you're acting a certain way, why you believe the things you believe. Who told you that? Let's start writing a new book in your life because I don't wanna see any, any woman not fulfill her mission and purpose of why she's here. So if you are interested, and joining me for six weeks on this journey of owning your authentic truth, claiming your boss babe powers, and taking your game higher in life, then let's do this. Just DM me for all the details. And I would like to start it this Saturday. If I do not have enough enrollment, I will postpone it for one month. The other thing I want to say is, my podcast begins on Thursday, Confessions of a Serial Philosopher, by me, Junkie Gypsy, heck yeah, and uh, it'll be probably airing, I think at 11 a.m., so tune in, it's going to broadcast on YouTube, and Facebook Live first before I convert it over to the podcast form on iTunes. Uh, just this first one, because it's all new and it's all a test and it's gonna be perfect and beautiful. And I am so excited because I have so much content to share, but I'm, I'm trying to get an interview um, set up for that date. If not, it'll be the very next week that we have an interview scheduled, but it'll be an intro. And so it's gonna be me telling you who I am, what it's all about, why I felt called to start a podcast. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there, but seriously, no more playing around because I, if you're anything like me, you're tired of playing small and you're ready to, 2018 is your year. There's a huge shift going on right now. Women are waking up, and it's not just women, it's men too, but they're waking up because we've been in a fog. We've been operating in this fog that has left all of, like just, I mean, years ago, not necessarily now, but people wandering aimlessly and not knowing or people climbing a corporate ladder thinking that was gonna give them happiness and joy. I mean, it's ridiculous. But now people are awake and they're grateful and they're, they want to do these out of the box things because two generations before us, those people did, honestly, it's really sad because they did not live their full potential. They lived small lives. And if you go to any nursing home, you know, the number one thing that, they, that you can ask anybody in a nursing home is that they wish they'd have lived their life for themselves and not for someone else. And I equate that to like my grandmother, like she, she was, you know, raised a certain way and her family had certain expectations. She had to fulfill those, but you think about the end of her life and she lived that life to please them and not herself. And yes, she left me with a great gift of, you know, being a resilient woman who loved unconditionally day after day and took care of her family and